Math Coach presents How to Read a Decimal. We use decimals to measure small amounts and tiny sizes, like the length of a ladybug. That's about zero and six tenths of a centimeter. Some ants are even smaller. The smallest ants are about zero and seventy-five thousandths of a centimeter. Decimals may seem hard to read, but hey, guess what? If you can read numbers like these and know decimal place values, you can read any decimal with ease. Here are some useful things to know. Decimal places are to the right of the decimal point, and each place represents a special fraction. Tenths, hundredths, thousandths, ten thousandths, and so on. Decimal places mirror whole number places across the ones. Tens and tenths, hundreds and hundredths, thousands and thousandths. Notice the TH at the end of each decimal place name. Each place value is one-tenth of the value to its left. A decimal number has three parts, a whole number, a decimal point, and a fractional part. To read a decimal, start from the left. Read the part before the decimal point, at the decimal point say AND, then read the number after the decimal point. To finish, say the name of the place of the final digit. That's all there is to it. Let's get ready to read this decimal. Remember, start reading from the left. You know how to read the whole number part. At the decimal point, say AND. Then read the number after the decimal point, and finally say the place name of the last digit. Let's try it together. Ready? 2 and 53 hundredths. Good job! The weight of a ruby-throated hummingbird is as little as 2 and 53 hundredths grams. That's about as heavy as two paper clips. Let's practice another one. The wingspan of a monarch butterfly can be about this wide. How can we read this decimal? You're right. Start from the left. Read the whole number part. At the decimal point, say AND. Read the number after the decimal point, and then name the place of the last digit. Are you ready? 4 and 875 thousandths inches. You did it! Now here is a decimal that's less than one. You can tell because there's a zero in the ones place. You try it. You're right. Zero and six tenths. What are some other things we can measure with decimals? What about the diameter of the lead in your pencil? That's about this fraction of an inch thick. Try reading it on your own. Now check yourself. That's zero and 394 ten thousandths of an inch. That's pretty small. Let's practice. Here's some interesting information about the wingspans of butterflies. What is the wingspan of the Oregon swallowtail? That's three and four tenths inches. How about the southern dog face? That's two and twenty-five hundredths inches. The western pygmy blue butterfly is much smaller. What is its wingspan? That's 
0 and 375 thousandths of an inch. Good job! See, when you know how, reading decimals can be easy.